Hello, and a very warm welcome to LMT Royal YouTube channel. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex received a long round of applause and a standing ovation from the audience in the Royal Albert Hall in London, as they took their seats at the Mountbatten Festival of Music. Prince Harry, who is attending the event at the South Kensington venue in his role as Captain General of the Royal Marines, is wearing a uniform complete with medals awarded from two tours of Afghanistan. Tonight will be the last time that the Duke will attend any engagement in his official Royal Marines capacity, having inherited the rank of Captain General from his grandfather Prince Philip in 2017. Meghan Markle, who arrived at the venue tonight with a huge smile on her face, is wearing a red full-length, $1,684 soft yaw dress, jeweled Simone Roca earrings, and gorgeous red aquazura heels. She and Harry were greeted by five members of the Royal Marines, before they were escorted to the Royal Box to enjoy a night of musical entertainment for the Royal Marines Association, the Royal Marines Charity. Members of the Royal Marines will showcase their musicianship and pageantry during the two-day festival, which is marking the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. It is also marking the 80th anniversary of the formation of Britain's commandos. Proceeds are going to the Royal Marines Association, the Royal Marines Charity, and Cancer Support Charity Click Sergeant. The Sussexes received a round of applause and a standing ovation before singing the national anthem. John Suchet, comparing the evening, told how honored we are to have the pair in attendance. Harry and Meghan took their seats in the Royal Box in the astounding 5,272 capacity concert hall, which was commissioned and opened by Queen Victoria in 1871 for her late husband Prince Albert. The royal couple had the opportunity to laugh and joke with uniformed band members and dancers backstage, before heading onto the stage to meet more attendees and musicians. They walked off stage hand in hand, and went to take their seats for the second part of the show. During the performance, the audience were led in a sing-along of Sir Tom Jones hits including Delilah, and It's Not Unusual. The concert also featured Judy Garland classic Over the Rainbow, and the gladiator film theme. Warrant officer, Reg Sheen, the festival manager, said it was absolutely fantastic to see the Sussexes and that he was delighted that Harry was the force's captain general. Mr. Sheen, who was a member of the greeting party when the couple arrived on Saturday evening, added, the reaction they got from the audience when they arrived was very emotional for the Royal Marines. Harry and Meghan have embarked upon a series of high-profile engagements in recent days, ahead of their departure from public life after March 31st. The event comes one day after Harry officially opened the Silverstone Experience in Northamptonshire, a museum charting British motor racing through the years, alongside Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton. The Prince was driven to the doors of the Silverstone Experience in Northamptonshire yesterday morning, in a $85,000 electric Mercedes, EQC 400 AMG by six-time champion Hamilton. Meanwhile, Meghan made a surprise trip to the National Theatre in London on Thursday, releasing photographs of her tour via the couple's Instagram account yesterday. The Duchess, who is patron of the theatre, was shown VR technology aimed at helping people better connect and empathize with each other as people, regardless of race age or nationality. She also visited a comprehensive school in East London this afternoon on her second day back in the UK. The couple also attended the Endeavour Fund Awards on Thursday evening to recognize the achievements of wounded, sick and injured service personnel. The annual event celebrates the achievements of wounded, sick and injured servicemen and women who have taken part in sporting and adventure challenges. All eyes were on Meghan who has not been seen in this country since she and Harry, made the dramatic announcement that they were quitting public life in early January, much to the distress of the Queen. She presented the Celebrity Excellence Award during the event, saying, It's very nice to be back. It's the third year I've had the incredible fortune of joining my husband here. It's just the most inspiring space. When we were watching the nomination videos all the way in Canada, 
we had the same moment of, how are you going to choose? Well, we've done our best. The event is just one of just a handful of engagements the couple are undertaking this weekend in the UK before returning to Canada to embark on their new life, ahead of their official departure on March 31st. On Wednesday, Harry waved to well-wishers outside Buckingham Palace, as he was driven away in a Range Rover after a series of internal meetings with his team. It came after they had a heart-to-heart, -heart for four hours in her private apartments, at Windsor Castle on Sunday about his imminent departure from the royal family. Harry is said to have requested the meeting, and the Queen, who last saw her grandson during their showdown at Sandringham, in January after Harry broke the news that he and Meghan were quitting, was happy to agree. The Queen is believed to have told her grandson that she was keen to keep the door open for him and Meghan to return, and stressed that he would be welcomed back from Canada at any time. In other news, Prince Harry's relationship with his dad is rock solid despite quitting royal duties, an insider claimed today. The Duke of Sussex has spent hours with Prince Charles since returning to the UK last week to fulfill his final duties as a royal before quitting the firm. And sources say Harry has listened closely to the advice of his father, who is helping to support his future plans. The insider said, Harry is and always has been incredibly close to his father. And nothing that has happened in the last few months has changed that. Of course everybody, Prince Charles included, would rather that Harry and Meghan had remained as part of the royal family. Charles, in particular, felt that the work and causes Harry and Meghan were embarking on could be really served by remaining within the royal household. But like any loving father, now Harry has made his decision Charles is keen to support him. Since Harry came back he has seen his father, and they have discussed what Harry wants to do in the future. Harry hugely respects his father's opinion, and has welcomed the advice he has given him. Earlier this week Harry, sat down with the Queen in a four-hour heart-to-heart, with Her Majesty telling her grandson, he would always be welcome back into the family. It comes as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle return to the UK appearing at their first event together just this week. Beaming Meghan gushed it's nice to be back to crowds on Thursday night, at Mansion House for the annual Endeavour Fund Awards in London. The couple will attend the Mountbatten Music Festival on Saturday at the Royal Albert Hall before Meghan undertakes an engagement for International Women's Day. Meghan has a spring in her step. Then, on Monday, she and Harry will be reunited with Kate and William for the Commonwealth Service, the first time the Fab Four have been pictured together in months. But despite reports there could be frostiness between the couples, Sources told LNT Royal that Meghan who has left baby Archie back home in Canada, is looking forward to the events. They said, the last few weeks have done Meghan the power of good. She has a real spring in her step, and is excited and honored to be part of so many important events. She is particularly proud to be with Harry tonight at an event she knows means so much to him. And she is looking forward to marking Women's Day a cause which is very close to her heart. Meghan has also loved Britain, and there are lots of things she misses so the chance to return is one she has been really looking forward to. Like any new mother she will of course miss her son, but both she and Harry are acutely aware of the scrutiny, they are under following their decision, and both want to fulfill the promises they have made to serve. Body language experts talk about Harry and Meghan. If we just go back to that last picture, Lewis, um, Adrian, a lot of this going on, holding hands. So that's a very possessive um, hand-holding situation. Or mutually supportive. Um, Harry is reaching to her, so he's the one that's more submissive, and she's holding both hands over his. So it's quite possessive, but not in a negative way. It's just they're very clear to show they are a couple, and they're very happy. But do you think, is that a natural hand holding um, or is that be. you know we are we need to be seen to be very together on this you know because a lot of people Camilla as we know said it's Megan she's mm. made him leave and, and yes. we said well you know he's his own man as well it's that's, a joint decision I think that's quite natural what was not unnatural we talked about this earlier um, was the hand on the back 
I mean, that was excessive, and at points it was quite uncomfortable. So what, when you see anybody with that in that pose, particularly with the woman with her hand on her partner's back, what does that say to you? Is it's it unusual. Body it's language? normally a male-dominated gesture. Please support Growing LNT World channel by subscribe channel, like and share videos hour. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos. Stop.